to everyone that's just so pressed because I have braids and I'm a white girl, I have one question for y'all. Do you believe that cultures should be shared? And if the answer is no, why do you believe in segregation? The world is crazy right now. The world's been crazy for quite some time. But apparently, black people think that they can police hairstyles now. And if you are white, you cannot wear certain hairstyles. Man, if you don't get up out of here with that, that sounds stupid. That sounds dumb. But that's the game that, that we in, right? When it comes to just society and the world, right? Oh, you, you white? You can't have braids because that's a black thing. There's some kind of like social media influencer who is getting money, doing her thing, going on trips. And a lot of black women and just black people are coming at her because she has braids. And they like, take your hair out. You, you can't do that. Whoa. <laughs> I wish someone would try to hit me up and tell me how to do my hair just because of a skin color. And also, people always want to say this about black people in braids. Vikings existed. Yeah, I didn't think Vikings existed. Yeah, you didn't see they, they was doing braids and whatnot. Nah. Okay, okay. Let's take a look at a, a video of a bunch of people going crazy about this. Some clips. People losing their mind over, over some braids, over some, some braids. I'm trying not to curse. I'm about to curse right now. Let's check it out. I like the braids. I think they're cute. I love and respect black people. My son's black. It's not the fact that she got braids in the first place because black women have given the spiel about a billion times. Everyone knows it. At this point, you just don't respect us and just don't care. So it's fine. It's not the fact that she's using her proximity to blackness as justification for appropriation and foolishness because that happens all the time. My question is, why is it always this type of white woman that has such proximity to blackness to feel so confident doing this stuff? Like, I genuinely want to know, black guys specifically, why this type of white women is constantly given such proximity to blackness. They do not respect us. They do not respect black culture. They see us, especially you, as an F-E-T-I-S-H. And yet, they keep popping up. It's cool. Do you. Her hair will fall out on its own and maybe she'll learn something. I don't care. I just want to know what the appeal is. Because I don't get it. Damn account at that. I bet your nose fat as fuck. Send me some nose pics and then we can talk. There it is. There it is. There's the racism. See, what you don't get to do is disrespect black women's physical features while wearing a style that black women created. Uh-huh. Our physical features are beautiful. And y'all know that. And so are our hairstyles. Because if you didn't think it was beautiful, you wouldn't be trying to mimic it. Mm-hmm. Respect the blueprint, my love. And you absolutely can kiss my white fucking ass. I meant that. I love this for y'all. I love that y'all always get on these apps showing that you have no identity from the extreme tan to the extra bronzer to the box braids. Black people, I want y'all to know, don't get mad. Don't be upset. Because historically speaking, if you know anything about this type of ancestry, culture, vulture, colonization, if you know anything about that, then you understand that this is on brand for them. They have no white culture identity. So like their ancestors, they must steal from others. To the people that are braiding these hairstyles on them, get your money. To y'all that are getting your culture vulture hairstyles, may your scalp be gripped by our ancestors. The fact that people thought that they was going to be able to get that off is crazy. That's the world we live in right now. We live in a world that's so wild and people think, mm, let me make a few TikToks and That'll get this person to cut their hair and change their whole look because strangers on the internet said so. Okay, a lot of people out here are dense. All right, maybe pick up a book, bro. Oh, well, how about this? You don't just follow sheep. A bunch of people that's telling you, oh, you have to think like this because of color, race. No, that's stupid. This woman didn't do nothing wrong. She's just enjoying her life. I don't care about her braids, to be honest. I don't care about what hairstyle she want to have. I don't care if she going in there looking like Gumby. I don't care if she get a mohawk. It, it wouldn't matter none to me. right? And she had the best response when it comes to people trying to police her hairstyle. Let's check that out. 
I just wanted to come on here and sincerely apologize to everyone who was offended by me having braids. I didn't think anyone would really care, um, but I've decided to cut them out because I think it's really disrespectful. Shut the fuck up! That's what y'all really wanted me to say, huh? That's how y'all want me to react to this shit. Look at him. Kiss my white fucking ass, bitch. Overall, I think people are tripping. People are going crazy, but that's what the internet is full of. Just a bunch of Looney Tunes that think they can control people. As far as the black community, if you're a fan, stop policing what other people do based off of the color of skin. If you don't want to be known as just the color of your skin, then maybe you shouldn't treat other people in that same manner. You know what I mean? It just doesn't add up and it doesn't make sense. But that's my personal opinion. Tell me what yours is down in the comment section. Hit the like button, all that good stuff. I know I made a lot of changes recently and it's because I'm trying to make sure I'm good out here in these streets. So this is probably the last big one, but guys, I have a new channel. It's for my live streams and my podcast, Real Talk with BX Beast Boy. You can find that link that is a train going on in the background. I'm not editing it out. You can find that <laughs> link somewhere on my channel. If you go to my homepage, I'll probably have it in the pinned comments too as well, if not in the description. But go and check that out. That's where you can catch topics not only early and way before way before they, they come out on my main channel, but you actually get to hang out with me and just have conversations, maybe even ask me for advice or just ask me whatever questions you want to have, you know, or ask. So go and check that channel out. Subscribe to that. Make sure you check out my previous episodes of my podcast. I appreciate the heck out of y'all, man. Also, don't forget to check me out on Patreon. Helps me keep going. You never know, man. I might get canceled. Might come on here. I might be gone tomorrow. Never know. Check me out on Patreon to find exclusive content. You also get early access to a bunch of stuff as well. Check that out.